Have you ever faced difficult choices when life becomes challenging? The story of a young girl will make you reflect on the true value of family and love. A few days ago, a not-so-close younger relative reached out to me to borrow money. I was quite taken aback. The last time we spoke was three years ago. But there must be some dire circumstances for her to seek me out for a loan like this. Her father has been suffering from heart disease and his condition has deteriorated, requiring immediate heart surgery. The cost for the surgery amounts to 12,000. For a long time, the relationship between her father and mother has not been good. Her father works as a construction worker earning minimum wage. Every week, he would go out with his buddies to drink beers, and after every drinking session, the house would become noisy. However, this noise comes from the arguments of the couple, who have been fighting for decades since she was little. The house has always been so loud. Her mother often shouted at her father, saying, You should just go away! And the statement she heard most from her mother was, Your father doesn't even care about living, so you need to work hard to change your life. Yet, when her father fell ill, her mother was the one who worried the most. For several days, her father couldn't eat or drink anything, and he lost a lot of weight. Her mother, who used to be criticized by her father for being too fierce, suddenly became gentle. She tried everything to coax her father to eat more, so he would have the strength to fight against the illness. After facing her parents' arguments for so long, she has always felt that the older generation's view of marriage is very outdated. If they don't get along, just divorce. Why must they endure each other? But now, she envies and deeply admires her parents' marriage, which is one that lasts a lifetime with only one partner. She has just graduated from college and hasn't found a formal job yet. Throughout her four years at university, her parents had to borrow money from their savings or relatives. Now, there are no savings in the house. Immediately coming up with such a large sum of money is almost impossible for her family. Both of her parents are aging and weak now. She has to find ways to borrow money from friends and acquaintances. For her, it seems this is the time when life has hit rock bottom. Many times, she truly wanted to burst into tears of despair. She sees the true faces of many more people, especially distant relatives. They avoid her. They only fear that she might approach them to borrow money at this very moment. But perhaps more than ever, this is also the time that makes that girl mature quickly. I, myself, feel helpless. I can only lend her a small amount of money, hoping she can get through this difficult period. Her hardships remind me of an old college friend. Back then, her parents divorced when she was 17. She lived with her mother, who ran a small diner. The rainy season in California can be quite slow for business. People often say that divorce is the separation of parents, not the children. However, her father is different. He separated from her as well. For many years, he provided no support, and her mother worked hard to raise her for school, but developed health issues from the stress. All of a sudden, her mother fell seriously ill. The doctor said she needed surgery, costing tens of thousands of dollars. In the hospital corridor, she called around from morning till night to borrow money. Her voice became hoarse. Tears streamed down. She was scared. Scared of not being able to borrow money. Scared of not having enough for her mother's surgery. And scared that her mother would face serious health issues. In the end, she decided to call the father, who had been absent from her life. Yet, it was like a cold splash of water on her head, making her more alert than ever feeling a sour and bitter pain at that moment. Her father said he had divorced her mother and she should go live with her maternal family. Although that sentence disappointed her, it didn't make her collapse. She realized that now on this planet, her parents only had her left and thus she must be stronger than ever. Finally, some relatives lent her a small amount of money. We, the college students, pooled together and managed to gather over $2,500. But that amount was still not enough for the surgery. The doctor looked at her and cried in the corridor, shedding tears along with her. 
With no other option, her mother had to be discharged from the hospital to survive with medication for the time being. Since then, her personality has changed completely. She is no longer the shy girl she once was. She threw herself into working part-time to earn money while studying. Life was incredibly challenging. Sometimes she longed for what her peers had, the freedom to focus on studying, having parents who could afford to buy them their favorite gadgets or clothes, and the ability to travel with their families during summer vacations. That dream life seemed like a luxury she could never attain. But now, she alone has the strength of several people combined, bearing the heavy burden on her shoulders. Her mother, courageous and undaunted by fear, stands beside her, and I can feel an immense inner strength within that small person. That strength comes from hope and the love she has for her mother. Perhaps this is life. Money is not everything, but everything depends on money. It determines many things in life, even the very existence of a person. To earn money, we cannot rely on anyone, but must depend on ourselves and our family, which serves as our motivation to strive and move forward. Some people say that parents are the wall between us and death. While our parents are still present, we often see life as beautiful, but when they are gone, we realize how fleeting life truly is. I still remember that in the novel, 100 Years of Solitude, it also mentions that we and death may only be separated by a veil. Parents are that veil. We do not perceive death because our parents are always there, shielding us. The loss of relatives, friends, or neighbors does not impose direct pressure on us. But parents are different. When they depart, we feel the sharpness of death in a very tangible way, no longer just an abstract concept. In our rebellious teenage years, we often do not listen to our parents and frequently clash with them, sometimes even wishing to be alone. As we mature and step outside into society, we learn to be patient and humble with strangers, yet we do not learn to be patient and gentle with our parents. Only when they depart from our lives forever do we realize our connection to this world has become more fragile. We often think that life is long, but in reality, the harshness of time and the brevity of life will never wait for anyone. Therefore, while we are young, do not be lazy Strive to earn plenty of money and transform yourself into a capable individual. In critical moments, money remains a solid shield, a key factor in solving many pressing issues. To be strong and face the storms of life fearlessly, you must equip yourself with a stable financial foundation, protecting yourself and your loved ones from unforeseen circumstances. Do not wait until life splashes us with some cold water before we wake up. Similarly, do not let your parents fall ill due to a lack of money, leaving you powerless to protect them. Please remember to make an effort to earn money so that you have fewer regrets later on. Secondly, always remind your parents to take good care of their health. Exercise with them daily, guide them on proper nutrition, and take them for regular health checkups. I have a close friend who has achieved financial freedom at such a young age. When his father passed away, he told me one thing. Although the pain of losing my father will linger, the only thing that gives me joy and eliminates any remorse is that while my father was alive, I had enough financial means to take care of him, providing him access to the best medical care and support. This is fundamentally the meaning behind our hard work and dedication to earn money. We cannot wait until our parents need us only to have nothing but tears to offer them. This is the reality of this world. We may never know the feeling of sorrow simply because we have never faced dire financial situations. The downfall of adults often begins with financial struggles while witnessing their parents fall ill and confronting the door of death. However, we are often helpless in the face of circumstances, lacking the financial resources to treat them and forced to borrow money from everywhere. That is precisely when a person matures quickly. When we were young, our parents devoted themselves entirely to shielding and nurturing us. As we grow up, it becomes our turn to take on the responsibilities our parents once carried. Keep striving, 
and you'll see a more beautiful life ahead and gain a better understanding of this world in a wonderful way. Strive to become a resilient and skilled individual capable of providing a more secure life for our family and parents. The best child is not the one who is cherished in their parents' embrace, but rather the solid shield that protects their beloved parents. If you agree with the philosophy of Papia podcast, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share useful information, spreading love to those around you. Don't forget to turn on notifications to receive the latest content every Thursday at 8 p.m. on the Papia TV's YouTube channel. This is the greatest support you can give me. Thank you for listening. Papia TV will always accompany you, helping you become a better version of yourself every day.